Coming to you live from heaven to earth to you. Mm. In, inseminating a woman, letting a man get you pregnant. It's a two-way street. Mm. It's a two-way street. Okay, this is a very spiritual dynamic, so let's go. Okay, so when it comes to getting someone pregnant or impregnating someone, make sure that this person is in heaven. Make sure you are in heaven. Make sure you didn't choose this person and make sure this person did not choose you because if you choose this person or if this person chooses you, you are going to pay with hell. Hell is going to come. You're going to pay with hell. I kid you not. Okay, so with all that being said, let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay, I'm still recording. Okay, so with all that being said, you wanna you wanna do the God thing, which is ask questions, pay attention, be vigilant. Um, and let me just say this: if this person is sent from God to be a, you know, a wife or a husband and a good mother and a good father, then you'll naturally know. You'll you'll know based on second nature, but you won't know if you're looking with your eyes. Can't do that. Can't do that. You got to understand, pregnancy is just like a human body is designed in a certain way. It, inseminating a woman is designed in a certain way. So you want to be wise about it. You don't want to just bust a nut, she, her pussy wet, you get her pregnant, or he look good, whatever, and he get you pregnant. No, 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 no. It goes way beyond that because this is a very spiritual thing. And let me say this. You got to understand that demons like babies. Satan, Lucifer, likes babies. They like to kill babies. Eat them. The whole nine. Just been going on for thousands and thousands of years. Babies have been sacrificed in the past. Yes. That's Lucifer. That's Satan. That's demons. It is what it is. But my whole point is, is just to, you know, be wise about it. Not smart. Not informed, wise. That's two totally different things. So you want to make sure that this person is ready to be a mother or ready to be a father. You know, you want to make sure that this person has already had a life intact. You already got your life intact, and that y'all both got God at the front of y'all, got God at the front of y'all relationship, and that y'all got God in the front of y'all own two personal lives. Y'all understand y'all roles from A to Z and Z back to A. And when y'all and once y'all understand that, then everything is good, everything is fine, life is good, life is well. So you wanna make a baby in heaven and not create a baby in hell because it can happen either way and it doesn't matter to the Lord either way. It don't matter. He'll give you either or, you know. So you wanna manifest, summon, prophesize that you're gonna have a healthy baby, that you're gonna have a healthy relationship. You know, but you got to do it according to the Lord's way. So what I would tell a person is just to seek the kingdom, relax, and then let the Lord handle the rest. And once God bring you a wife or your husband, I promise, I promise, I promise, I guarantee it's beautiful. Y'all not going to really be fussing. It's not going to be really, really be no issues. It's going to be easy, simple, and everything going to be on point, you know. And you don't want to bring a baby into this world when you ain't already got your stuff fixed while you in this world. Can't do that. You can't do that. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay, I am. But yeah, but you can't do that. Because if you do, that means that's your will. Mm, mm, mm. And your will don't work. My will does not work. No one will works. <laughs> it only works in hell. Mm, 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 mm. So, hey. So ask questions. Really ask yourself, is this person a man? Is this person a woman? Does she dress like a woman? Does she act like a woman? Does she wear her natural hair? Does she got makeup and eyelashes and nails? Does this, does, does this man understand his own nature? Like, how does he dress? How does he look? What does he take serious? What doesn't he take serious? Is he spiritual? Is he not? Is he spiritual in witchcraft? Is he spiritual on, the, on this side of heaven? You know, so... But, hey, you do what you want to do. I really don't care. I'm just spreading wisdom, sending a message. I'm a messenger, and that's about it. You know, but like I say, though, trust nothing. Trust nothing your boy says. See it for yourself. This is, it is, this is not my life. This is your life. See everything for yourself. See all for yourself. 
And once you see it, then it works. Because then that's when God can be like, okay, they let me in. I got you. Got you back now. But if you don't, whew, the devil going to get you. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. He going to get you. Ooh. He going to get that baby. He going to get that daddy. He going to get that mommy. Tell him you going to get you. Going to rip you apart. You know, but don't trust nothing I say. See it for yourself. You know. Let no man teach you. Let no woman teach you. See stuff for yourself. See stuff on your own time. And you want to have a baby with a person, whether it's a man or a woman, who's already an alpha, who's already a man or already a woman and understands manhood, womanhood. It's simple and it's easy. This is not hard. This is not a hard concept. You know, but what you should be doing is silently praying, sitting still, enduring pain, enjoying life, Having God number one, but naturally and easily, you know, it is focused on yourself. And God basically says, you know, seek the kingdom of heaven and everything else and multiply and it'll, it'll expand and be beautiful. And it will. It really will. And I know from experience, so I'm not just talking and I don't just get up here talking. You know, I know from seeing it. I know from experiencing it, you know. And so if you see somebody else. Check this out. If you see somebody else from afar getting somebody else pregnant and it goes bad or it goes good, learn from that. Learn from both angles. You want to be aware and conscious of both sides. You want to be aware, conscious. You want to be aware, okay, that ain't what I'm supposed to do. Okay, that is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I can see where that went wrong. Okay, don't. I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So you want to learn from others' mistakes, especially mistakes like that. Woo, because you don't want to make a mistake like that. You don't want to accidentally get pregnant by someone who isn't worth getting pregnant by or someone who isn't worth inseminating. So to my women, protect your womb. To my men, protect your seed. Protect your nut. <laughs> protect your nut, man. It's simple. You know, and I understand that, you know, girls look good, they butt look fat, they titties look big, they pussy look fat. I get it. I mean, I do. Let's be for real. But I also understand that you got to be wise. So make sure that you nothing in good grounds, you putting, you putting seed in good grounds. Make sure you putting good seed in good grounds, heavenly grounds, and that everything is just fine. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I got some more videos coming soon. Y'all have a blessed one. I'm out. Peace.